What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front. And if you want more, stick around for a step by step walkthrough. Today, we're going to show you just how easy it is to turn off your cell phone before you start making a video, just how easy it is to add text to an image in SharePoint. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup on my pancakes. I don't care what you heard. Okay, let's get that timer rolling. First thing you're going to do is you're going to find an image or, you know, add an image. I'll show you later on how to add an image, but we got an image, so we got to go to edit. We're going to edit the page. And then we're going to click on the image, and then we're going to go to, like, I don't know, text overlay. There you go. And then you're going to just, you know, typey, typey, typey there. And then you're going to just republish it, and you're done. All right. You, you can do it, but there's there's a lot more there. That's that's what the rest of the video is for. So all right, so here we go. Let's slow it down a little bit. Uh, let's start from even you know adding an image, and we'll start by removing this one. So if you have an image you want to get rid of, you're going to go into edit, and you're going to just delete the web part. It's an image web part. I added it in here. This is just the stock communication site. You're going to get a hero right underneath that. You're going to get an events web part. Um, one thing I like to do is if I'm going to add something uh, to the stock uh, dealio, I like to toss in another section. So we'll add in a one column section. And now I have this little box dedicated to just my image. So we're going to click plus to add image. We're going to find image. It's in here. Boom. We got an image. And then we're going to grab some... Uh, we're going to grab some stock um, stock images here and we're going to grab the paper people and we're going to slap that bad boy in there. So we go with really that's how we're going to do it. OK, fair enough. That's how it is sometimes. Y'all All right, insert. There we go. There's supposed to. There we go. All right. Boom. That is it's pretty large. There's large and in charge. Um, so we'll just kind of take this where it goes with images. We will talk about the overlay, but we're going to just talk about images in general, blah, 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 blah. Uh, if you enjoy this giant uh, image of the foamy paper, like it looks like foam, like a, like a scouring pad, almost kind of like. But anyway, uh, if you like it that large, great. But you can use these handles to resize the bad boy. All right. So since we're on a resizing kick, um, there is a resize option. Check this out. You can select these options here. Um, oh, sorry. Resize, are, that's where we're at with the handles, okay? But we can also change the aspect ratio. That's, anyway. So we can go square. See, what, okay, so it takes it back large, but then it squares it up, which makes sense. Uh, we could go with 3-2 think that is like your yeah I'm not even going to get into what uh, oh I know four three is like your Instagram that much I know all right uh, and then 16 by 9 that's just your widescreen so you can crop it all sorts of you know different ways uh, let's see what happens after you crop it if you can also resize so we go back to resize oh yeah there you go you can resize in the cropped uh, situation all right uh, since you probably came to this video about text overlays, let me just jump over the other things and, and just jump right to the text overlay. So we can go here and click on text overlay. It gives you a little box here. And we're just going to say, you know, how many characters? Should we try and break it? Should we try and break it and see how many characters we can go? Oh, there we go. However many characters that is. Okay. <laughs> so... I wonder if you make it bigger if you get more characters. No, this is going to be bigger. That was weird. Okay, <laughs> I digress. Back to text overlay. So we'll just finish this sentence. And you can move it around. Put it wherever you want to put it. Okay. Uh, we got a little edit little thingy bob here. Uh, so we can now adjust the... Here you go. You can see it. You don't need to be explaining it to you, but, you know, it's right here. You got your... Uh, you know, bold italics and then the size here and some different colors uh, that's for the text or the box can be you know you it's really customizable 
you got the opacity i mean it's highly customizable pretty slick if you want to add text to an image now what if you want people to click on it and go somewhere well now you got to do is click on edit the web part and then you're just going to go here and then you know type in type in your your website or whatever and then there you go when you republish it when people click on it it'll bounce to that to that website or to that url it can be sharepoint internal external doesn't really matter okay so we got that i know we got some other some other buttons here to talk about uh trash is going to delete the whole web part duplicate this web part we talked about the edit the web part uh and then we have align the alignment so we can align to the left of the web part box align to the right of the box or the center and then we have reset so we can go back to the nice giant uh cut out people there so there you go i hope this has been helpful please give a like subscribe hit the bell notification so you can know as soon as new content is posted we really appreciate your support and all this helps grow the channel and helps me remember to turn off the ringer on my phone so it doesn't do that at the end of a video. With that, SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause